So hi, uh, let's start how to develop an alert configuration. So whenever a virtual machine has been started, we will trigger an alert uh, notification to the owner. So let's do this with using the Azure portal. And when you are going to Azure portal, we have to, we can create alerts uh, from Azure monitor. Azure monitor is a native solution of Azure, uh, which helps in terms of monitoring uh, many different Azure services. And uh, so we go and uh, create an alert there. We will create an action group. So alert uh, is one which will, uh, once you enabled it, it will keep tracking whether uh, on based on the activity or uh, on based on a custo query law, uh, it will keep checking if there is the data which has occurred then automatically the action group helps in triggering a notification and a specific action, either through an Azure Automation Runbook or an Azure Logic App. So let's see how we can develop this in Azure portal. So I have a virtual machine right now, and that is VM01. Currently, the status of this VM is actually stopped. So whenever the VM is started, it has to trigger an alert and everything. So let's go back to home and let's go to Azure Monitor. Under Azure Monitor, you'll find alerts. You can go into alerts and you can actually go and click on create an alert tool. Here, so which uh, resources uh, are we going to select? Here I'm con considering the entire subscription itself and i'll be enabling this checkbox so uh, for this alert whatever the future resources which are also being created will also be part of this alert monitoring and everything and i click on next the conditions the condition here is so we can create alerts for three different types one is uh, based on the log or based on the service health and based on the activity log here, when we say a virtual mission has been started, stopped, or restarted, it was meant as an activity log. So here, when we go into log point of view, you can actually build a custom custom query and everything. And service health point of view, you can specifically mention which service uh, health and everything. Here, the activity log, I'll be looking for a virtual machine. So whenever the virtual machine has been uh, started, uh, I wanted an alert to be triggered. So you see, start virtual machine, Microsoft.compute virtual machine. So I'll select this and so over the next six, P, uh, six hours, whatever the triggers happened, we can actually look at that and actions you as i mentioned action group is something where after if the condition has been met as per this alert if there is anything which uh, any machine virtual machine specifically has been started with an operation uh, virtual machine start action then uh, automatically the following actions has to be triggered what is the action we have to go and define right now let's go and create an action here so i'll create uh, test archie I already have a uh, resource group called testrg. I'm storing this uh, action group there and, and, and leaving it as region as global. And I'll name as uh, track and start. And the display name is Okay, we can start and notifications. We'll also mention that this is happening through portal. And the action group name, I'll keep it as ag-portal, it's more easier. And what is the notification which I wanted to trigger? 
the notification which i wanted to trigger either through an sms we can go and provide an email id or is usually the organizations wanted to have their alert configuration in place so the owners will have an email id primary email id and uh, we will be sending email there and what is the name of it the name is owner notify and i'll mention portal so this is done through portal and actions we can actually trigger a specific run book to perform an action of uh, for to to perform a remediation action or create a logic app which can perform set of functions and everything at this point of time we are not selecting any action group here we are leaving it as it is and we are going to create the action group once the action group is created i can go back i am back to this alert rule configuration where i mentioned the condition and everything and i i am leaving i am selecting this action group itself so there are no changes to this and now the details uh, which where do you want this alert to be created and everything so i'll keep it as test rg and the rule name is track vm start and the description is raise an alert notification to owner whenever vm has been started we have started yeah and that is good and we click on create the alert rule will be created so we go into alert rules and let's go and check let's wait for 2 minutes where the alert will be shown here there we go we have an alert rule which is having a condition saying that whenever uh, a microsoft dot compute uh, service called virtual machine uh, has a start action then automatically this condition is meeting if it's meeting then follow sending a cvrt notification that uh, where those four and, uh, and this is the signal type is actually an activity log and uh, so whom it will be sent to we go and check the details the alert will be sent will be sent to an action group let me give that one so this is the action group which we have selected where it will send an email uh, to the owner respective owner of that particular virtual machine and that is how we mentioned it now everything is right so but uh, remember guys uh, once we configure an alert through an activity log and uh, specifically we have selected uh, an action group where specifying the notification should be uh, the what do you say email azure resource manager role which is an arm uh, uh, receiver role and uh, in terms of uh, arm deployment point of view it will take 24 hours for uh, the respective either for an owner or for uh, whoever it is a uh, contributor or a leader or a monitor, monitoring contributor will have access to monitoring that uh, and read the monitoring data and make changes to any monitoring configuration settings and all that so if you select appropriate roles whoever is having that exact role uh, is that role has been matching 
to any individual for that service then automatically it will send uh, what do you say an email to them but uh, this to happen it is going to take uh, 24 hours after the configuration and then you will actually get the alerts so this is how we can do it with the portal an alert rule which has been done and let's see whether we can actually trigger an alert at this point of time so i'll go to here to vm01 and whenever a vm has been started i have to see an alert there so i'm starting the vm and the the configure the alert to appear uh, uh, as i mentioned is going to take 24 hours uh, once you have configured the alert rule and everything but after the 24 hours it will actually you will get the emails consistently and everything so you will not be having any troubles so let's go to monitor here and alerts whichever have been fired you can actually see it from here so let me see uh, in the last 10 minutes did we receive any trigger alert or not the vm has been started successfully has started and if you see the status it is running now the activity log has to uh, it will take activity log will actually take around a couple of minutes uh, and once the activity log has been uh, refreshed you will be able to see the alert here usually the data ingestion which will happen uh, will there will be a delay of some two three minutes let's wait for it meanwhile i'll pause the recording there we go we can see right now uh in track vm start which was triggered just some time back a minute back and the uh email which will show that the severity is uh, 4 and uh, it will also show what has happened which will uh, show the notification that a specific machine has been uh, uh, started and that will be sent to the owner of this and this is how it goes so the email goes to this caller but as I mentioned, it's going to take 24 hours uh, for this. Uh, whenever you're trying to trigger an alert uh, rule from the uh, ARM uh, receiver point of view, which is, as I mentioned, the action group where specific notification fit is in the uh, Azure Resource Manager role, which is the ARM role and everything. Thank you, team. Let's uh, in the next uh, video, we'll sh uh, show you how we can do with the same thing, achieve the same thing through PowerShell.